Hi everyone, Jan Furston here. I have one more ephemera folder to share with you. Um, this folder is one of three that I am offering in my Etsy shop. The link will be down below. Um, so you can see there's a folder and it's full of ephemera. And you've got all of this over here that's also coming along with it. So let's just go ahead and get started. This is the third video and I'm getting like, okay, this is getting kind of boring. So dimensions, 12 inches high. 10 and just over 10 and a quarter no it's almost 10 and a half uh, inches wide and it has a two inch spine at the um, uh, widest point I've covered this one this is a beautiful fabric some of my favorite it's uh, reminded me of fall so I thought well I want to get in one of that and it's wrapped in this um, it's not it's not ribbon it's lace but it's stretchy it's kind of cool and I've already um, dyed it for you coffee dyed it and um i can't remember if i've mentioned these in the other journals uh in the other videos but these are to be stored standing up otherwise your stuff can fall out on the top but now you know um so i'm not going to undo this i'm just literally going to slide it off and you can see the uh the pattern there and got little bits of thread and stuff and these books are uh recycled my very good friend elaine um had worked at a business that had samples in these books and she hates to see anything that is um you know it, that isn't recycled if we can recycle we need to do it and so along those lines uh in our last retreat she bought brought them to the retreat and i got quite a few of them and I couldn't decide what all I wanted to do with them. I've come up with a couple of ideas, maybe lap books for some. But these I'm going to use as um, ephemera folders. And these are not going to hold a huge amount of ephemera. It depends on how much you have. I mean, I have a ton of it, but then I, I make journals to sell. But a lot of you don't. You just have some ephemera. So anyway, I thought this would be a nice way of, of um, storing it. So let's go ahead and open it up. And let's see if I can kind of give you an idea of how big this thing is. Three-sided. And so there and here and here. So between the photographs and the videos, people can get an idea of exactly what's in here. So let's see, which way are we going to start? I'm going to fold this up. Put that aside. I'm going to make sure I'm still in focus here. Okay, so a lot of this ephemera, um, I've made a lot of it myself. Some of it I've purchased. Um, it's just, you know, it's one of those instances where you you need one or ten of something and you have to order a hundred or a five hundred. And I thought, this is nuts. And I, I just I thought, you know, this would be a great way of sharing some of that stuff and uh, not having to keep track of it all myself. So here we are. So let's go ahead and get started. The lace pockets are a combination of new and vintage laces. Um pretty much all I can say about that. So let's just go ahead and get started. This is one of my, I call these boot bookmarks. What can I say? I, uh, I thought they were kind of cool. They, they have a paper clip in there and then they also have these two little decorative things, things. It actually came off of a, and that's extremely thin wood. And it was a fan that had gotten broken. And I thought, well, I'm not going to throw it away because it looks pretty. So they, they make great bookmarks, too, They're because they're thin enough to use as bookmarks. And they just slide down in there. And uh, so anyway, bookmark, uh, whatever you want to make up, there is a pocket in there if you can get something long and narrow. So I thought they were fun. I made oodles of them about a year and a half ago. Here we have two envelopes that are literally you know pushed in one into the other and then glued and they make great little pockets here you decorate this page and the outside already uh, coffee stained for you here we have one of my cards using my uh, pressed flowers from madison alabama um, this is a purple azalea and it's a card you can see there many of you know that i i press a lot of flowers every spring and in early summer and that's where that came from so let's go ahead on up here see what we've got in here 
they're all slightly different. And I thought, oh, I, I would love to have done one video with three of them, but it was just too much of a difference. And I thought that's just really not fair. So especially if you're purchasing it, you need to see exactly what you're getting. So anyway, uh, this is a pocket, pocket inside here. It's made from an antique songbook, a German songbook. Um, and what I do, and it's up to you, but I would glue here, here, and here. It down you've got a pocket behind it and you've got a pocket on in the inside and then there's just a, a neat directional paper clip paper flowers here so and then here we have this is from a Martha Stewart kit that I had and I've used up almost all of it now but it's so pretty and it makes a neat little pocket or you could even turn it sideways make a book that is up to you here we have two small envelopes pretty sweet and we have a uh, journal card that I've made. The picture here is using the Tim Holtz um, photographs. Vintage, but actually that's that's an antique button and that's bone. That's made out of bone, the button is. And just a little bit of lace and, uh, what is it, cheesecloth? And I've just backed it on some decorative cardstock. So there is that one. Okay, let's do this, see if this will... Hold together. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Next stop. We'll go to the top here. <laughs> I was using up scraps and made little tiny booklets. What can I say? I like small things. Here we have some um, little tags, cards, if you will. Craft colored. Three of them. They all open up. So there's that. Put that one there and then him down in here. Here we have 10 of these cellophane, is it cellophane? Glassine, not cellophane. Glassine bags. I've already uh, coffee stained them for you. I love these things. But again, it's one of those things you, you want to order like 50 of them and oh, it comes in a stack of 500. And I already, oh, it was fun uh, staining these. It, oh, what a mess. I made a lovely mess. I've already done the mess for you. So there's that, 10 of those. Get down in there, come on. Doesn't want to behave. That's because we're on camera. Let's see, what do we have in here? Okay, another little booklet. Again, using up those scraps. This is just a little fabric collage on top of a little envelope and a little card in here. And you can literally, if you want, use it as a pocket, however you want to do that. But I've just done the fabric collage there. This is another scrap. Uh, I think, what is it? Corey Dahman calls these scrap busters. I think it's cool. Using up paper. I did not, <laughs> no full sheets were destroyed in the making of this, um, this little tablet. And again, you just glue, glue, and glue. Put it down. And you've got a pocket here glue in here okay alrighty let's pop this in there that in there this in there here we have um, using again some of my pressed flowers these are ferns from our garden here in Madison Alabama and I've just got some sorry silk on the end the the frame itself and of course you can write on the back because this is very sturdy um, the frame came from Michaels and it came in a set of like 10 I think it doesn't come with the cellophane. I, I had to put the cellophane in, but it actually there's another piece even. I'm not even sure how to use that, but it um, it looks basically like just the outside here, but it's literally you glue the back piece to the front piece, and then you've got, you know, a, a, a nice way of displaying something here. So there's that one. We have two of these little, uh, these are coin holders. And I, again, my flowers, this is Greek mustard and this is dianthus. And I've just taken the white coin holder and I've somewhere in all of this. Yeah, there, there's some over here. You'll get to that in the rest of the video. I've got three blanks and the neat thing about these, you just fold it up and they're adhesive. So you put a flower or whatever you want to display a sticker even. And I've just, you know, decorated it with stamping and then distressed it. And it's, they, they look really neat in journals. Alrighty, let's go to this side. Here we have 
a sheet of their uh, photo corner protectors. I think I've got that right. Photo corner protectors. You slide the edge of your uh, photographs in here or even like an envelope or something like say if you wanted or a piece of paper you wanted to highlight in a journal. You you literally it slides in there and then you put those on all four corners and it sort of frames it out makes it look really neat. But there's a and they're adhesive on the back. And then we've got some little crocheted squares that are so pretty. You can use those for all kinds of things. Two little coin envelopes. I think that's what they call those. Let's see if we can get these all back in here and behaving. <clears throat> here we have two. This came from a digital kit. Um, and I've just put it all together. And I had some extras. I printed too many for a journal that I was working on. And so there are those. This is using up more scraps. I have a video on this. I just call them banners. But you can... Uh, you can glue the whole thing down and just use it as a decoration. Glue the whole thing down and put things here. Uh, what do you call them? Tuck spots. Or you can even make a pocket in addition to all of these tucks by just um, gluing the sides down and leaving the top open. But it's a great way of using up scraps. Really neat. And here's something that's really cool. Um, I got this idea, and I'll, I'll put the lady's name because I don't remember it, of course. I got it on um, Instagram. And you use a square of paper. Now, I've used um, antique uh, pages from a book that I have, 1890s, I believe, is when it was printed, because I like that look. But the, the key to it is, no matter what paper you use, song sheets, decorative paper, whatever, you have to use squares. So this is a 5-inch square, this is a 4-inch square, and this is a, did I get that right? 3-inch square. Yeah, 3, 4, and 5 inches. And the neat thing about them is that, look at this, it's one side there and one side there. So they're little two-sided pockets. I've already uh, glued the bottom, but uh, I'll put that uh, link below so that if you would like to find out how to do it, they're so simple. I mean, really simple and fast and a great way to use up paper, um, the, you know, those sheets that we all have and decorative paper and whatever else. So, now you know. Okay, this, using a paper doily. I call these doily pockets, for lack of a better word. Um, let me just show you how it works. You just slide something. Well, of course, this is too wide. But glue the back down and then just slide something in there on the inside. It's a nice way to use doilies in your decorating. I love doilies, but they're very finicky sometimes. But you can put paper in there. So again, I call it a doily pocket. Po doily pocket. I can't even say it. These are all. This is a CD sleeve, the regular size, and I've uh, inked and distressed or no, coffee stained it. I'll get it out in a minute. Stitched around the edges, and I use them as pockets either this way or this way. And I usually decorate mine a little bit more. Sometimes not, but it is sealed. That is an orchid from uh, one of my husband's orchid plants. He loves orchids. And he lets me have some of them. And then this is uh, the smaller ones. I'm not sure what these were made for, but I love the size as well. And again, they're already coffee stained for you. I had a, a coffee staining party with myself the other, oh, about two or three weeks ago. I, I, oh goodness, if it was hanging around, I probably stuck it in there and stained it. It was just neat to get it all done at once. So again, and a reminder, must be stored upright, otherwise you run the risk of losing things. So let's put this out of the way, and then we're going to go over all this yummy fun stuff that we've got. And all of this comes together. So, we have a napkin. Da -da -da. It's a vintage napkin. Nice and big, about 18 inch square, I believe. This side is perfect for the this corner of a um, journal page to make a pocket out of. Whatever else you want. I used the other fabric, the leftovers, for snippet rolls. And then I cut this lace off and used it. So it's it's really, it's beautiful. About 19, 1960s, I think. I think. And it's the palest, palest of blue. It's almost white. It's so pale. So there's that one. And here is this little sweetheart. Put that over there. Hand crocheted. Sweet, sweet, sweet. 
This is from a plastic tape, uh, a plastic placemat. I'll get it out. I I'm getting there. And um, I just cut them up and use them as decoration, but it also makes a nice pocket. But again, it's plastic, and I just and I have uh, coffee stained that as well. Here we have a sweet little napkin. This is vintage as well, about 1960s. You can see all the little curves there and then the little embroidery. So sweet. Got some stuff on it, some threads and things. Okay, let's open these up. I had a lot of fun putting these together. Here are some accordion uh, ribbon. And what you do is you run a line of glue here. And it makes a great decorative edge to your um, page. And here's a larger one, or a wider one, I should say, not larger. And again, you just glue on the back, put them on. You can even put more decoration. You run a, a small string of beads down here, or, or sometimes I'll use my um, my leaf ribbon to put on there. Little sweet crocheted flower doily thingy, a um, wedding applique, we've got some more crochet, oops, what is that, yep, isn't that pretty, more crochet, small pieces, sweet little heart, and this is that pale, pale blue again, this is just a little applique that I had, thin cotton, and uh, is it antique, vintage probably, I don't think it's antique, but it is vintage, this is Battenberg lace piece. This makes a nice little tuck spot. What I do is uh, glue it down on cardstock and then just trace around it, cut it out, and then it makes a really nice pocket. It's up to y'all. These pieces are from a wedding dress that I got at a thrift shop that was already ruined. I do not cut up good wedding dresses. Um, but if they're already ruined and they're for sale, then yes, um, I go after them and I cut them up and I use them in a variety of decorative ways. And so here's those pieces. And this fabric, I, I had several yards of this and I've used it and used it and I'm getting tired of it. So I thought, you know what, it's going in here. But you just, what I've done, you can do whatever you want with it, but it's neat advertising. And I just, you know, cut them all up and then I sew them onto cardstock and make a neat little journal cards and stuff with them. So there's that. Here we have. Da -da -da. Yeah, it just kind of keeps going and going and going. Ribbon. This is a little over a foot. Velvet ribbon on the inside. And then you've got the same style, but a different color in the pinks. Aren't those pretty together? Probably my two most favorite colors are, are pinks and greens. Different shades. This again came off that wedding dress, and it's just a line of pearls. I would, and I'd, I've just taken all, I've got a lot of pearls now. But you just literally unstitch it, and then you've got all these neat pearls to use. This is some of my favorite ribbon. Little rosettes. So sweet. And then these are just slightly smaller. Okay. And then those I've also uh, coffee stained, or tea stained, I think. We have these little flowers, and then... A rosette, rosettes, roses, whatever. The pink and then the clear. And then we have, uh, let's see, here's a bit of ribbon. Crocheted little pink and white flowers. And then there's a, about a foot each of these. Come on. They get tangled so fast. But they're pretty strong. And it's the, my some of my favorite leaf ribbon. I just love it. And I think what I mentioned earlier... If you take like one of these, now of course the colors are not going to match, but what I have done in the past is glue the leaf ribbon down over an accordion ribbon and do it like that. Just an idea. But you've got purple, pink, and blue. So I'm going to push all that up there. There are, let's see, we have about 25 of this kind of tag. And no, I did not stain these. I couldn't. I ran out of time. And then there are two of these of this size. So just put those back in there so they don't go swimming all over the place. And I put jewelry pieces in here. And I 
I got this little box basically because I was just going to have it hold some small things, but then I got to thinking it's red, Christmas is coming up, and wouldn't it make a cute little decoration, put a little diorama or something in there, just whatever. And this is a little pen, an angel here with a little background, filigree background, or you can use it as a pen, but what I tend to do is I, I take, um, uh, is it wire cutters, and yank off the backs of these and then glue them down in a book like a, a journal cover, that kind of thing. Really cool. Oh, uh, let's see. The, uh, I'm going to do these last because they're such a mess. So let's do the paper things. You have a nice, large rice paper bag. I think that's rice paper. Pretty sure it's rice paper. <laughs> and we have two regular bags that I, uh, they were white and then I just uh, coffee stained them. Two envelopes, coffee stain, a little thin bag. It's got a neat little texture. It's kind of slick on it. I'm not sure if you can see the, the sheen of it or not, but anyway, it's neat. These are um, cards that I got while I was visiting my daughter in Korea, and it was just a lot of fun, and I got too many of them. And they were so pretty, and I thought, you know what? I'm not getting rid of these. I'm going to, or I'm not going to throw them away or anything, of course. And I didn't want to just put them in a grab bag somewhere, so I thought, ephemera. And that was my plan, but I've, I've gotten too many of them. But they're pretty, and they are in the language of South Korean. Even that, that's kind of cool. So, anyway. Here we have... This is, this is made from a file folder. It opens up like so. Yes, there's more inside. <laughs> so the file folder opens up like this. You can decorate it. I've put pockets here and whatever. And then you close it up. And you've also got a pocket here. And a pocket here. And what I have done is use these as a signature. Kind of like a surprise signature in a book. If I've got um, like three signatures, I'd make this one of them in the center. And it works really well. And again, it's already coffee stained for you, put together, whatever. Here we have some original pages of Edith Holden. This is from her book, um, uh, Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. And this is the paperback uh, size, oversized paperback is what it's called. And these all looked like fall, and I thought, well, that would be a good thing to... But these are original pages. We have two pages of, uh, these are antique, about 1890, 1900, and they're from a German songbook when I was visiting my daughter in Germany. Here we have, now I use these as, um, okay, little pockets. You can use them singly. These are all original pages from the book, Concise British Flora in Color. And what I've also done is stack them up so that you do like so. And there's one like that. So that you can have one, two, three pockets entirely, however you want to do it. We have, we have, we have, we have. Oh, there's another one. Hello. There's two of these and two of the other. Original uh, library cards. And for those of you who don't know anything about this, you should Google how we used to keep track of books before computers were along. And um, and there were still some computers around, but not like they are today. So we use cards like this. And, oh, forgot to, you know, the backs are all blank. Great space for journaling. But these are original library cards. This also came from Michael's. These are great, again, for flowers, if you want to use them for flowers. Do your writing here a nice little card and then in here you would put your um well whatever you want to put in a picture or whatever i use my pressed flowers in them and they turn out really well and then you've created a card that you know you can send to someone or whatever or use in a journal this is a again tea stain or coffee stained library pocket and then there's another card small envelope Small decorative envelope with a card. Ta-da! 
And then this, this is just some ephemera that I have used. You know, bits and pieces that I've cut up and haven't used in journals. And then this one was actually a little sachet. I got it Tuesday morning. I think it was like 10 for a dollar. And the sachet was horrible smelling. I didn't get it for that, though. I liked the how pretty it was. So I just cut off the top, emptied it out, put a little notch in. Then you would glue, glue, and glue. And then you've got a beautiful little pocket. So, And this is made from not card it's um it's paper but it's heavy paper it's not cardstock it's 24 no no 28 pound paper and it's very stiff and i really like to work with it and it makes things like this really well um but what you do there are pockets in here that um hold on just a moment um you can come up with five pockets. Hold on, I'm going to put you on hold for just a second. Someone's just coming. It's my husband coming. Hold on. Well, I said I was going to pause it. Okay, I'm back again. And hopefully this is not <laughs> screwed up. But what these are neat. You put, well, that's what I do. Glue, glue, glue. Keep the top open, and it's literally five pockets. You've got one, two, three, four, and five. And what I've also done is decorated just what's showing here. Um, it's up to you, however you want to do it. You can even write on it, and, you know, it comes apart. I don't bite on them because it's just kind of, you know, that's just me. But that's up to you. Now, what else do we have? Oh, yes. The little bitty bits and pieces. Okay, so here are these. There are three of them. The little coin holders that I was telling you about. And you just, let's see. <laughs> I'll get it right in a minute. Put a little flower or whatever that you want to highlight in there. Take this little yellow part off. It's adhesive. Close it. Press it down together. You've got a little, you know, a um, this was, I think, holding a half dollar coin. And then I just stamp it and, and, you know, distress it and what have you. But there are three of those. And all of these little things that have placed, there's little tiny screws in there. But this one is just a, a neat one that says, etc. I thought it was cool. You've got, let's see, two. Well, there were two. Or one. No, I'm sorry. There's one here. One of these. This is the kind where you stick a card down in there. And again, there are screws in here. And then here's a more elaborate book plate. Pretty, pretty. Two tiny little <laughs> hangers. That'd look really cute in a, um, like a sewing journal. You have a decorative key. You have these little Tim Holtz things, which, let's see, there we go. Little fasteners. There are two little crown um, charms, two little baby, uh, yeah, what are the clothes pins? I'll get it out in a minute. These, now, these, these are really great if you want something that's really strong and it's going to hold really tight. They are tight. If you want to loosen them up, you can just pull them apart some, but they're like little paper clips, but again, they hold well. If you have something that you're wanting, you know, it slips around, that holds really well. Oh, and then this, this is a little charm. Sweet little butterfly on the top. So there's that group. And then the last thing, <laughs> there's an end to it. We have, and no, I'm not going to count all these pins and stuff. We have six little banners here. They're just little paper banners. You put a ribbon through there. You can uh, stamp a, a word on here or even um, uh, write it on if you want. They're just sweet. Six, one, two, three, four, seven, though. One. Yeah, seven. And then there are eight of these little corner um, protectors. You just, now I put glue in mine and then slide it on the corner of a page, like so. Or a cover, not a page. But now I recently saw um, Kathy Cadill. She had done um, a CD. Um, and she put the, these on the corners of the CD, and it was a picture, but it was also a pocket at the same time. But it really kicked up that 
um, CD um, cover or sleeve, I suppose, the CD sleeve. Really picked it up a notch or two by having these corners on there. So that was really neat. And then you can see there's lots of these. So I'm just going to pick up several. There's the bulb pins. And then the little safety pins. And they're all in that bright gold. It's real pretty. So that is it, I think. <laughs> I hope I've gotten everything. So again, uh, this is all for sale. I will put the Etsy link below. Um, I hope you're having a blessed day. This is Tuesday, the 2nd of November. We're already in November. Thanksgiving just around the corner. Um, Y'all have a blessed week, and I'll see you soon. Take